Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. For our 2015-2016 Woman of the Year, she is an international woman of mystery. She holds down a full-time job. She volunteers of herself in INF BPW projects by either taking the lead or serving in the background. She is married and has two grown children. She does not live in Crawfordsville or even Montgomery County, but that does not deter her from giving her all when helping this community. This is a quote from her that, that helps explain her positive influence in our community. A person once said to me, I do not want people to bring me problems. I want people to bring me solutions. Our woman of the year is ill this evening. She could not come last meeting because she had meetings. That's what happens when you have somebody that's so involved helping others all the time. So we have two of her staff here. If you'd like to come up, Jennifer and Sue. Has anybody guessed who our woman of the year is? It's Karen Branch. And I'm going to read a letter from her staff. Yes, we have more information. Karen, you're missing this. We love you. <laughs> okay, Montgomery, Montgomery County was changed for the better in October of 2011. That month, a cheerful and intelligent woman from Danville, Indiana, chose to place roots in our community, and we are so grateful. When we, the staff of the Youth Service Bureau, found out that Karen Branch was chosen as the Business and Professional Woman's Woman of the Year, we couldn't have agreed more. Karen has used her professional skills and passionate heart to ignite this change in our community. We wouldn't have the strength that we have right now if it wasn't for her. We are exuberantly appreciative for Karen and her passionate heart. Her positive outlook, willingness to listen, respect for all, humor, and calm nature creates an atmosphere of success. Without Karen, we wouldn't be where we are today. Everyone at the Youth Service Bureau has been touched by Karen in ways that cannot, words cannot capture. All we have here are words and side hugs. I'm sure there's something in there somewhere. And here it's just a small look into what we think about Karen. Would you like to read any of these? Sure. <laughs> oh, Jill, said. Jill says, Karen is not originally from Montgomery County, but since starting her job, she has embraced our community and its residents as if it were her own. She works tirelessly to create programs that meet the needs of the people of Montgomery County. I know she often struggles not to take on too much because if she sees a need, it is in her nature to want to provide a solution. As a boss, she is a good listener and always there for her staff. Working with Karen is very enjoyable and we are thankful she is a part of the Youth Service Bureau. Gina says, Karen is such a warm, caring person. She has immersed herself in the community, is always willing to help wherever there is a need. She always leads by example, and the Youth Service Bureau is truly blessed to have her at the helm. Sue says, oh, you carry on. Okay, Sue. Karen works diligently to make sure our programs have the required funding. She is always looking for new ways to serve the children in Montgomery County. She always has time to be a sounding board when I am in need of some therapeutic advice about one of my Cossack kids, and best of all, she knows how to laugh at me, with me, with no judgment. Jane says, Karen has definitely elevated the Youth Service Bureau into being a premier youth-serving organization. It is obvious that she cares deeply about the well-being of the children of Montgomery County and is tireless in working to bring about positive change in the lives of those who are most vulnerable. She has been a true inspiration to me and someone I greatly admire and respect. Kayla says, in the three years I've known her, I've seen an incredible passion and dedication to her job as an executive director. Karen's enthusiasm for her work motivates all of us to strive for our common goal, to have a community where all children are protected, nurtured, and respected. Karen has served as a personal mentor, a guide, and an amazing listener. She is someone I look up to and highly esteem. I can't think of anyone else who is more worthy of this award. Shannon says, I haven't known Karen long, but what I see and admire most is the way she leads with quiet strength. She exudes strength and confidence, but never arrogance or pushiness. She invites trust through her honesty and compassion. Her fortitude creates a fortress for 
inspiration for the weary, and a prototype for the energies. Jennifer says, ditto to what everybody else said. That's what I said. Um, so, I think that's it. Yeah. So, Karen, this will be on your desk probably tomorrow or whenever you feel better and get back to work. So, you can serve the community some more, and we'll see you at the next meeting. Thank you.